What's up, people? I want to address something. It seems like being myself and living my way of life and not rolling with the tides like everyone else is, is kind of a problem for other people. People expect me to roll with the tides and I roll against the tides. You know, and because of that, people fish for a lot of labels to give me. They ask me a lot of questions about what I am and what I'm a part of. And all I am is myself. I don't join organizations. You know, because I eat a lot more healthy now, I barely eat foods with products on it, foods that come out of a factory, you know, meats and stuff like that. People want to ask me, am I a vegan? Am I a vegetarian? I'm not going to give myself that label, you know. I just choose to eat healthier, preserve my life. That's it. Anytime I want to eat some meat or some factory packaged food, I will. But I won't do it often. You know, but by giving myself that label, you're going to look for me to do things that's outside of what a vegan or a vegetarian is. You might even take it to the extreme and worry about what my couch is made out of or what's what my clothes are made out of. You know, I'm not going to give myself that label and be under that pressure. I'm just me. You know, a lot of people from the islands, you know, they like to address me as Rasta or Rasta mine, you know. And I don't mind that. That's an honor, but I quickly dismiss it because that's not what I am. You know, there's things that they believe in that I don't agree with. And then there's things that I do in my life on an everyday basis that's against their code of living. You know, those are my brothers. Those are my sisters. I have a high respect for them. I have a high respect for what they do and what they believe in. But I'm not a part of them. You know, I would feel like I'm disgracing them by just claiming them without actually being a part of them. But anytime we link up, we're going to vibe just like we're brother and sister. But I'm not actually a part of them. I just have similarities with their lifestyle, but we're not exactly on the same plane. Me growing my beard natural, that has nothing to do with me converting a roster. That's just me being a man, embracing being a man. That's not me letting myself go, that's me letting myself grow. You know? I'm just trying to be closer to nature. You know, anytime I say that I don't get down with religion, people want to ask me what I believe in. People want to assume that I don't have a connection with God. That's not the case. Religion is organization. And I just told you I don't involve myself with organizations. You know, I have a high respect for the nation of Islam, but I wouldn't dare be a part of it. You know, Minister Farrakhan says a lot of things that I respect. I listen to him a lot. I wouldn't join him. And I'm quite sure with him being in the position he's in, there's a lot of people out attacking him. You make him look like a fraud. I don't care anything about that. I just respect the good things that he has to say, and I apply it to my life. But to be a part of that organization, I wouldn't do it. You know, I don't get down with any other forms of religion. There's pastors that I respect who are a part of the Christian community. You know, I take the good with the bad. I filter out whatever I don't agree with. I listen to them, but I don't try and follow their way of life. I don't try and follow their teachings. I just listen to them. You know, you can learn something from everybody. But I wouldn't call myself a Christian. I don't believe in Christianity. I believe that there may have been a Christ-like being who walked this earth, but it wasn't Jesus. That wasn't his name. So I don't follow behind the Bible and the Christian way of living. But 
I do respect a lot of what's in the Bible. I do respect the morality that comes out of the Bible. I embrace a lot of what my people do as far as accomplishments go. And I am very highly concerned in how we're mistreated on a daily basis. But I'm not part of a civil rights movement, you know. I'm not into the whole black power thing or nothing like that. I respect it though, but I'm not a part of that. My father and grandfather are both highly ranked in the Masons, but I know nothing about Masons. I'm not a part of what they are. So I wouldn't claim being that. You know, I listen to the 13th son a lot. I follow a lot of what he says, a lot he's taught me a lot. But I wouldn't try and be him and I wouldn't try and wear a 13 over my name. You know, he's also another person that a lot of people try and accuse of being a fraud. A lot of people question where he gets his information from. All of that doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's doing what he has to do. He's giving you information that he searched on his own time and sharing that with you. You know, he's putting in hard work to come across all of this information to be a better person. But he's also teaching you to be a better person if you're willing to listen he's not asking you to follow him he's asking you to go look up whatever he says go look up whatever you want to know because you can find all your information on your own whatever you at whatever questions you ask can be answered by you by researching and by researching I'm not saying just read just study you know there's more to studying than just reading you know the same people who wrote this information either thought of it experienced it or watched it occur you can do the same all he's saying is go look it up look inside yourself I can't do nothing but respect that but I wouldn't sit there and wear a 13 around my name and I hardly know anything about the number 13 or the significance it holds I don't claim none of these people I'm just me you know I just do what's in my heart all of these organizations have an agenda and they only want you to be part of that agenda they have a plan for your life you should have a plan for your own life I'm not following no organization one thing about being a part of an organization is that they think that their way is the right way and that they're above everyone else and that's not the correct way to think through life another thing about being part of an organization is that people have expectations of you once you claim something they want you to be that and only that as soon as you do anything outside of what that organization is about you're you're null and void they're going to discredit you as a whole so if i'm going to be a part of any organization it's going to be something that i built it's going to be under my own agenda i don't want anyone planning my life for me choosing what paths for me to go I'm myself and only myself. I am what I say I am and that's it. As a matter of fact, I'm not gonna tell you what I am. I would rather show you. 